This is Jamaica, a country that people think is half heaven and half hell however. In this complex place, China only spent three years to open up mountains and roads, helped them build a highway from north to south. After the completion of the highway, the driving time for local people from south to north will be shortened from four hours to one hour, bringing great convenience to local people. The $760 million project was financed by Chinese sources, and Jamaica won the highway without spending a dime the local people hope that with the help of China. Jamaica's economy can recover as soon as possible, but for this project, some countries believe that Jamaica is walking into the China debt trap. So what are the facts? Jamaica is one of the island countries in the Caribbean Sea with a total area of 10,991 square kilometers. As of 2021, the population will only be 3 million. People think Jamaica is half heaven and half hell. It is described as a paradise because the scenery here is extremely beautiful and it is the best choice for vacation travel. As for hell, it refers to the country's backward infrastructure, and foreign companies are unwilling to invest here which makes the country's unemployment rate extremely high, and at the same time, the crime rate is also extremely high. In the process of independence, the country also experienced complicated tests. It was colonized by Columbus, Spain, and Britain successively, and it is still a member of the British Federation until now however. Although Jamaica has been a member of the United Kingdom for 300 years, Jamaica seems to be neglected, and the development here is far less than that of the United Kingdom. You may have a question. As a member of the British Federation, why doesn't Jamaica help Jamaica expand its infrastructure and revitalize its economy? In fact, as early as 1966, Jamaica had the idea of building a North-South Expressway, but the plan has not been implemented. There are two reasons, the first one is that the area is located in a mountainous and complex terrain, making construction difficult, the second is the high cost of investment. For Jamaica, which only relies on tourism to support its economy, the government cannot afford this amount of funds. ASA member of the United Kingdom. Jamaica also proposed a loan to the United Kingdom for construction. British engineers believed that the road section was complicated and would take at least six years to complete. As for the loan, it has not been answered due to various reasons. Therefore, in 2011, Jamaica decided to send aid to China. With the opening of the Panama River, Jamaica finally began to promote the progress of national infrastructure projects, one of which is the North-South Expressway built by China. In 2011, the person in charge of Jamaica found China. At this time, it was the early stage of the development of China's One Road. One Road. As the first Caribbean country to sign a cooperation plan for the joint construction of the Belt and Road with China, Jamaica has really benefited from the cooperation between the two countries, and the North-South Expressway is a landmark project. In the past, the Blue Mountains across the central part of Jamaica caused inconvenient transportation. For Jamaica, which relies on tourism for development, the underdeveloped transportation in this area limits the development of tourism and becomes an obstacle to the country's economic development. Now China is willing to help them open up mountains and open roads, and finally cross the Blue Mountains and connect the North and the South. For people living in this country, this is undoubtedly something worth celebrating. Of course, China did not help Jamaica build the road for free. Since Jamaica believes that it will not be able to repay the 760 million US dollar loan in the short term, it has decided to grant the 50-year concession of the North-South Expressway to China, and China can recover its cost through expressway tolls. Ownership of the road returned to Jamaica after 50 years. At the same time, Jamaica also leased the land along the expressway to China at a low price, which will be used for real estate development and commercial purposes. The outside world believes that Jamaica is slowly walking into the Chinese debt trap, but the person in charge of Jamaica said, no matter what others think of China, 
China is now helping Jamaica to build infrastructure, and Jamaica does not need to spend a penny to pay for it. Being able to obtain this expressway will make people's lives more convenient. At the same time, China has set up many large enterprises in Jamaica, and these enterprises have created more than 10,000 jobs for local people. This is obviously of great help to Jamaica's economy and business. Jamaica believes that this is a win-win development model for both countries. At least this is something that the UK has not done for 300 years. In 2013, China officially began to build this road. During the construction of the project, China recruited 3,000 Jamaican workers from the local area for training, and another 1,000 Chinese workers participated in the construction. You know that the terrain of the construction section is very complicated. The construction team has overcome the technical difficulties of landslides and crossing the earthquake zone. Advanced new technologies, new techniques and new concepts have been adopted in the construction of the project, creating many firsts in the history of Jamaican architecture. And the construction team completed the one and a half year project volume of the Jamaica project in just three months. The entire 67 kilometer expressway was completed and opened to traffic in China in just three years, making it the first modern expressway in the local area. British engineers were also shocked by the speed of China's infrastructure. After the completion of the expressway, it starts from Kingston, the capital of Jamaica in the south, and ends in the tourist city of Ocho Rios in the north. The design speed is 80 km per hour. With this expressway, it will not only increase the flow of people and increase the employment rate, but also make the transportation of materials between the two regions more convenient. Now those who work in the two districts can also realize their wish of going home every day. In order to enable Jamaica to develop its own infrastructure in the future, China has also trained a team of 2,000 people for the country. These workers are experienced skilled workers who know how to build and maintain roads. In fact, in addition to the expressway, China and Jamaica have more plans, including a new deep water shipping port. The investment of this project will exceed 2 billion US dollars, which can be regarded as the largest infrastructure project in Jamaica. People are looking forward to it. Although Jamaica is thousands of miles away from China, China has always been one of Jamaica's largest trading partners and sources of investment. If the port is completed, it will boost the speed of Jamaica's trade development. In addition, in recent years, China has acquired the Alpart Alumina refinery in Jamaica for 300 million US dollars and then invested 1.5 billion US dollars to upgrade and expand the plant after the acquisition, which will provide more jobs for Jamaica. With the joining of more Chinese companies, they are now aiding more projects in Jamaica. For example, construction, agriculture, mining, information technology, and other fields. Chinese companies have built schools, hospitals, roads, and shopping malls here. These have indirectly driven the development of local tourism, logistics, commerce and real estate. Now, Jamaica has announced that it will continue to cooperate with China to upgrade the road network on the island after the economic recovery from the epidemic. In the future, they also hope to have a fast high-speed rail network. What do you think about this? If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and comment. Thank you for watching.